Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this tutorial video, I want to share one interesting uh, new table creation idea, which is very common when you try to create any business scenario or when you are in a specific scenario. And the scenario is that suppose you have this table in which you have the project number where project number is one appearing two times, project number two appearing two times, project number three appearing one time, project number four appearing two times and number five is appearing one time. Let's say you have a scenario where you want to create a new table from this existing table where the number of rows are appearing only specific number of times. For example, we want to create a new table from this table where only rows are appearing only one. That means there is just one project not uh, not with a multiple sort of a project manager or multiple counts like in this case for project 4 data center construction and interior is going on. So we just want to you know get a list where only one work is going on and not multiple work is going on and this can you can implement it in any different scenarios because for example a project uh, sorry in sales you have uh, orders orders appearing only one or order appearing multiple times right. So scenarios like those and and this is a way by which you know you want to create a separate table for a different type of analysis and you don't want to scan the entire table and you know just just work with a separate one. So how you can do that before that just a quick uh, uh, just a quick information for you that all of my power bi video is present in this google sheet which is this for this the link is present in description the benefit of this sheet for you is that you can come over here and search any of my videos like these people are utilizing it right now uh, you can search any of my previous videos and uh, jump onto that video using the link that is present in column b that way very easily you can find any topic which i have posted so that you don't have to go through the entire you know one by one video and and find it very easily you can find it also some exercises related videos which you can follow it along so we are on this video let's go ahead and see this okay so now what do we need we have the sheet so this is the sheet one if i just show you this is a sheet one table and uh, over here what you have is basically a data view if i go over here and this is where we have the sheet one now let's get the list of only those projects which are appearing once for example p03 and p05 other than that everything is appearing two times so what do we do we create a new table okay and in this table we will say um very simple project appearing once i'm just giving it one dummy name you can keep it as many as much as business friendly as it can be okay now press alt enter and then we will create a variable to hold those project lines uh, or that entire table not the project line sorry but that entire table and then we will i'll show you how you can use the filter to do that so we will say we will call it project list or single project list or whatever you can keep it as as easy as it can be and we will use summarize function which helps us create a table right and in summarize function uh, we will since we have to filter the number of rows right so we will going to press alt enter and let's right, filter and in the filter first we will going to use one more column which is add columns so so that we can add a column into the table and now in that we need the uh, let's call it distinct project number so the distinct list so that we know uh, actually the what is our uh, actual list not like a duplicate list so not like sheet one um, sheet one project number because this is where our entire list is present right or whatever your table is so this is your this one and then what you do is uh, for each project number we will going to say how many times it is appearing so alt enter right and we will give it a name right p r o w count project row count that's what it says when i say p r o w count project row count and then we use the calculate function to count the rows right count rows and what do we need the count rows is basically sheet one, right?
right this is what it does it takes the table so for each project it will count it how many times it is right if it is one it will be one if it is two it will be two so for so think about this table is something like where you have distinct project number and in front of that you have a count like how many times they are appearing in the table okay so we have done that uh, i have closed count rows and calculate i'll move come down and uh, this is where i will close my add columns and using the filter now i have created this column right p row count i will use this p r o w count is equal to 1 right because this is already created in the add column now i can use it in the filter to filter only those projects which are appearing once that means they have only one row count got it so now i press alt enter once again and close the filter right and uh, once again i will uh, come down over here so table and then i just have to supply this group by column name so we will say uh, project number that should be it so close this now uh, once we have closed this right so now what do we need we need to return a table okay so i will say r e t u t u r n return what do i need to return i need to return a table so i will use a calculate table function in that i will say sheet 1 is my table right and then i will use this function to get the list okay so i will say treat as so what does it do is treat as basically takes the treats the column as an input table as columns from another table for each column filters out any values that are not present in the respective output column so what are we doing we are taking this another table which is this one project list right and then we want to remove that what project number over here so again this is important so you need to again read it treats the column as an input table as columns from other tables for each column filters out any value that are not present in the respective output column so you specify this project number and it basically gives me the list that i needed so as soon as i hit enter you can see i only have project 3 and project 5 which you can see it from here project 3 is the only one which is appearing once project 5 is only appearing once now you have once you have this model right for you or you have this uh, complex calculation this is the variable now you want row 2 you can say 2 and it enter that means those rows which are appearing two times p01 p01 p02 p02 p04 right so that way you can create as many tables as you want if you need to create a separate table based on the number of projects number of orders number of uh, marketing lines number of requests you, you know the use cases are unlimited in this case so that's why i wanted to show you how you can utilize a complex formula like this and get the desired output right so with that let me know how did you find it and make sure if you want to receive such information hit like subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so that you are notified whenever i am uh, adding any more videos with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video